We are back again, and we are finally going to be looking at the Chucky Season 2 Comic Con trailer. Um, I apparently this dropped last night. I apologize about it. I was busy this morning and today uh, putting up different shelves and everything like that, so I didn't have time. And I fell asleep at some point, and I just didn't really want to do it. Let's just be honest. But uh, Chucky Season 2, there's been a lot of controversy within the first season. Hopefully this one will not be as what I said last season will be, but uh, let's check it out and see if it's gotten any better and what's going to happen this season. Okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Where he is, I guess, so terrifying that he gives the nun a heart attack. That's actually funny. Um, overall, this just looks like the aftermath. And what's weird is that I don't care about the kids. I care about what happened to Andy. Like, what's going to happen to Andy? Because apparently, is Kyle still alive? That That's what bothers me. Is Kyle still alive? And you see where Tiff, she's doing... It's, it's weird, man. We all know how Tiffany is. She... She wants Chucky still in a way, but she's done with him. But at the same time, she wants her and she doesn't have her arms or legs no more so again she can't really do anything so she's at the mercy of tiff and then somehow other glenn and glenda now have their own bodies and we haven't heard anything we haven't heard nothing since the fifth movie about them and <clears throat> again it looks like three kids they are i guess forced to go to a catholic school i'm guessing and then all Chucky and his other counterparts are going to follow them and start killing everybody. That is what I'm getting from this trailer. Again, there are certain things I like about the trailer. There are other things I do not like about this. Um, I don't like how they're wanting to put these characters in a situation you know, like, oh, we gotta, we gotta get them in this, you know, to, to make sure they're not nuts, which, again, you look at the legends and everybody that has seen Chucky or has gone up against Chucky, you know, they're either dead or they're in a psych ward or something, so, again, it, it's not shocking that they did not put these kids into a psych ward or a church or something, you just possibly get them all straight and narrow, and, Again, it looks like Tiffany's still killing when she wants to or when they need to. They are heavis they are heavily focusing on a lot of I would say the he slash basically the pronoun bullshit, and I'm just gonna say that the pronoun bullshit, uh the he slash him all I, I don't get that. I feel like that that makes my head hurt because I'm I just I don't got time to, to learn all about that crap. And they're really focusing on this, which again, I wish they wouldn't, 
and I'm, I just care about the characters, man. I care about Tiffany. I care about Chucky. I care about Andy. I care about Kyle and all of them. I care about the characters we know. I don't care about these kid characters where they're trying to figure out if they're gay or not or if they're straight or not or if they're bisexual or transgender or fluid. What? I don't give a fuck. I just want a good story. I don't care about their sexual orientation. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I want to know about the characters. I want to know how these characters are going to survive. Stop trying to force all this woke, stupid bullshit down our throat. And, oh, it's okay. I don't care about that. I care about the characters. Okay? Give us good characters. Give us a good story. That's all I want. And at times, last season we had a good story. We had decent characters. And then they would go right back to the new characters, which were shit. So... I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't know. I mean, I love Chucky. I love the series. I love the franchise. I love the essence of Chucky. It's a great franchise to get into and enjoy. And I, I don't know, man. I'm looking forward to seeing how they do Glenn and Glinda because we have not seen anything like that since season since, not season five since the fifth movie. So there's been really no mention of them except for like last season where Chucky made a comment. Oh well, I have a kid that you know that that was the only time they were brought up. So I'm kind of shocked that they brought they're bringing them into the season. So I don't know, guys. What do you think about it? Please let me know down in the comments down below. Also, if you guys don't like what I said, that's fine. This is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. I don't have to agree with you. We're all fans of Chucky at the end of the day. We're all people. I understand that. But at the same time, I'm entitled to my opinion just like you're entitled to your opinion. If I don't want to see something into a show, that is my right just like it is your right. But at the same time, a lot of shows were better when they did not focus on sexual orientation. They did not focus on what race was better. They did not focus on what was better, what gender was better. That's what they're doing now in shows and movies, and it seems like that that's what they're doing with this show, and they need to quit while they're ahead. I'm just saying that because it's facts, but let me know what you guys think about the trailer. Let me know what you guys think about everything, and I'll see you guys on the next one.